Hi everybody, Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. So I bought you a classic, simple classic gift box. Yes, uh, not yesterday, sorry. Um, whatever day it was that I bought it to you last week. Um, so today I'm bringing you a traditional Christmas box. Um, cute little box. Again, similar to one that I made. It's slightly smaller. Um, this one is four and a half by four and a half and one and three quarters deep so um it is a decent sized box um ideal for some christmas chocolates or something nice to give to your neighbors or your friends um and it, i just love it i love the bows of holly dsp i think it's really pretty i love this distressed gold speciality paper um of course i had to bring in my festive pearls because they're mine and i love them um and these textural elements as well that just finish the whole thing off so yeah i'm really pleased with this one and i really like it so let's make it so mossy meadow for this one and your base needs to be eight inches by eight inches uh 20 and a half by 20 and a half centimeters and we're going to score all of our sides at one and three quarters of an inch and i oh no it's okay okay don't panic oops wobble at the end look there we go so standard fold burnish clip the edges you know the drill fold burnish cut fold burnish cut that is my new little ditty now because it's just the same every time Fold, burnish, cut. Fold, burnish, wedge. Maybe that would be better. Fold, burnish, wedge. I like that one. Okay, so again, basics. Add our adhesive onto that. And add our pegs. Once you've got that first corner done, I generally notice that I don't get glue everywhere. It's just that very first one that seems to say, no, I'm going to go everywhere. Okay, so that's that one. So that's your base made up. Pop it to one side. How pretty is this paper? Oh my goodness, I love it. If all my Christmas presents were wrapped in paper like this, I would be a happy girl. I just love it the colour combination, the patterns, everything. Just love it. Right, so uh, DSP for your lid, seven and a half by seven and a half, 19 and a half by 19 and a half. Um, you need a shim. I'm just gonna have to grab some card that I have at the side here. Um, add your shim, one and a half on all four sides or four centimetres. Yeah, it's, this paper is just, like I said, traditional and just pretty. I just really like it. Okay. Again, fold, burnish, wedge, and then. So, fold the sides in, burnish them so they're nice and crisp. Wedge your corners and I'm going to just keep saying to myself as well heart punch your thumb notches so heart punch <laughs> fold burnish wedge heart punch <laughs> notches I could just keep adding to it and then it'll be one of those memory games what did I say next <laughs> okay so I'm going to twist it round because I feel that that is the correct way up for this um, paper. So I'm going to notch these sides. Again, eyeballing where we are. Not too bad, I don't think. And then I'm actually going to do something that I don't normally do. And I am going to adhere this together simply because... My last few boxes have just been a bit of a nightmare, haven't they? Because I've tried to wait and clearly that doesn't work. 
so I am at this point going to adhere my lid and put my pegs on because to be fair while I build up my decoration this will be setting anyway so in theory it should all sit nicely when I come to put it together or put it on the base anyway okay so that's that done pop those over here so I now need to do my decoration so where did that go so I have lots of bits and bobs here um, so I have my basic white my distressed gold my holly berry dies so I need that piece for that that for that and that for that that's all I'm using out of this one and then I need my large holly berry leaves so I'm going to go with that one so this is the whole image as I sort of call them where's mossy meadow it's going to be buried behind everything on my desk so mossy meadow my scrap paper okay right so now I have too much going on here <laughs> so let's just move those a second right ink scrap paper die card right so large leaf stamp off and then stamp on to her and repeat again stamp off onto my scrap and then again onto here clean that stamp and then back in here and then I need this one which is the detailed one so I get rid of my scrap now stamp over the top and just simply line it all up and then repeat again with the other one plums nearly went completely off then there we go and then whilst I've got this I want my little sentiment and I'm actually going to do this one in I think what colour shall we do it in Poppy Parade let's be nice and bright and I'm just going to stamp this across the top there okay I've got all my bits ready now here bring in my lovely die cutting machine and the good thing about this is that I can pop that there and that there and then I can actually do three die cuts in one pass which will save so much time okay nothing move there we go beautiful let's move that over here and run this through so I'm going to take that out of the way and just take that out of the way for now take those that that and then this one just one more pass through for my second holly leaf which is never good doing upside down because now I'm not sure if that's lined up or not on the top whiz it through 
and there's my lovely second holly leaf. Move that and then we can assemble. So I need that and that and that and that and that and that. Okay, so just take these bits out of here that I don't need, the negatives. I'm just trying to be gentle because I don't want to pull the rest of the leaf away because it's quite delicate. There we go. Just brush it on the floor because I've got to clean up now anyway. Right, bring my lovely lid back in. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the base, I think, just to give me a little bit of some, um, make it a little bit sturdier. I do know that you need to trim the bottom off one of your holly leaves. And I use dimensionals just to make it pop a little more from the um, box, especially with this paper, because this is quite busy paper. So a couple of dimensionals on the backs of the leaves. So this one will go up here and then this one goes from the base there. Then I have this beauty. So again dimensionals on this and I'm just going to add a glue dot on this end here because that's where it'll overlap these leaves. So take those off and then I actually found it easier to hold this piece because if you're trying to hold that it just doesn't really pay too well. So plenty of room for my uh, dimensional. Just make sure it's straight. Okay, a couple of these gorgeous elements. Now these are quite delicate, so be mindful when you're sticking them on, because I did manage to snap one. And I'm just adding the glue dot down here, just where that join is, but obviously as I say, just be mindful when you pull it off that you don't hold on to these little sprigs, because they will snap. So that one is going to go there, I think. And this one, in fact, if I remember correctly, I think I also cut the stem off of this one just so that it would tuck up against there. And then your lovely sentiment. I've just put that dimensional too far but it's okay across the top there and it's almost sat in the middle of your brushed gold piece as well and of course I have to add my festive pearls and this was more because we sort of had the holly leaves that I figured these would be holly berries hence me doing the little group of three And there you have it, my traditional Christmas box, or boxes. I hope you like them and I hope it gives you some ideas. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.